Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to import and export application and firmware files on the Q server, so let's get started. So to get started, we'll want to download the application and firmware JSON files from the page you're looking at. And we typically provide a lot of documentation on the projects we have built over time. So we're gonna use this joystick project that we created as an example on how to import the files. So at the bottom of the page here under resources, we have the application and firmware files provided. So first thing you wanna do is just download those and then we will import them accordingly. So once they're downloaded, we'll go back to our queue server and then we'll start by importing the application file. Click on the apps icon on the left and it'll take you to the apps page. And then you'll wanna select the import button and then click copy from file. From here, your downloads folder will pop up and then just pick the one that says the name of the project and then says app afterwards. And then click open. It'll copy the, the code for that file and then you click import. Once you do, you'll see that the joystick app appears and it says it was imported successfully. If I clicked edit and looked in here, it'll have the uh, have all the objects, everything laid out and linked together. So once you have imported your app, let's go over and import our firmware. It's the same process pretty much. You just go over, click import, click copy from file, and then click the one with the name and then it says firmware afterwards and click open and then select import. And then it's the same thing here with the joystick firmware. It has the same, uh, everything is all saved here, including all the settings for the drivers. If you are planning to change it up, then how we did in the documentation, make sure you do those accordingly uh, and whatnot. So that's pretty much how you import the application and firmware files to the Q server. Next, let's go over how to export those files if you wanna share it with others. So we'll start by exporting the firmware file first since we're already on this page. Let's just go over to a firmware file that you want to export. I'll just pick button, it'll be something different. Then you'll select actions and then click the action that says export. And it'll bring up the JSON file with the code in it. Just click download JSON and then it'll go straight to your downloads folder. Once you have the firmware file downloaded, we'll go over to our apps and then we'll select the application you want to export. For this one, I'll choose PyCar. I'll select export, I'll give you the code again, just click download JSON, and that's pretty much it. Lastly, I wanna show you all how you can back up all your apps and firmware with just a couple clicks. You'll want to do this periodically, just in case your Q server needs to be factory reset or something else happens. To do this, first you can see here are my apps, here are my firmware, and where you wanna go is to the settings icon at the top right. You will want to select system actions and then scroll down to where it says download backup. Now you just click the download button and then a zip file will appear. And when I go to my downloads, you can find it here. And when I open that, you can see the list of apps that I have and the list of firmware files. And it's good to just keep this on your computer somewhere and then you can just do the upload process for whichever apps or firmware files that you want in the future. So that's how you import and export firmware and application files on the Q server. Hope this was useful if you're trying to share your projects with your friends. Happy making. We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of our videos. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification button for updates. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.